pro boxing fans here with the main man of Manchester, the king of Manchester. <laughs> Talking about the heavyweight division then, um, Anthony Joshua, looks like the Usyk rematch is going to happen, we're sort of waiting for a date, it might be early August now we're hearing, but it's going to be in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, he's got a new trainer in Robert Garcia, well he's added Robert Garcia to his team as a trainer, what, what do you make of that, do you feel like, um, regardless of what Robert Garcia brings to the table, do you feel like a change of trainer was needed? Do you know what, I'm not going to say really, because um, I, I don't... I, you know, at, sometimes with fighters and and the, and the loss and the trip, you know, the new trainers, it's, sometimes it isn't the trainers. Sometimes they've got to take a long, a long, hard look at themselves and take be responsible for what happened themselves. You know, so I, I can't really assess and, and say anything because if you notice know, with fighters now at this level, they're always going from trainers to trainers and trying to find something in the trainer. And it's not the trainers that make the fighters; it's the fighters that make the trainers. And it's about working together as a team. And it's like me and Zelfa. Me and Zelfa have more arguments than anything. Um, sometimes, you know, as family, as he's being a man, as, you know, I've seen him as a young kid and growing through, but sometimes I've got to give him that respect now and treat him as what he is. But then sometimes he, he finds listening a duty and, I, and sometimes I just walk away from him and he'll come back to me and we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. And so sometimes the working relationship between boxers and trainers, you know, I'm very one-dimensional. It's either my way or fucking no way. You know, you're either going to listen or you don't listen. A fighter that doesn't listen is a pointless fighter. You know what I mean? And if you're not going to hear what I'm trying to say, you don't want to feel what I'm trying to say, of course you can have an opinion, but you need to listen. Because no matter what, this is the way I'm carrying a legacy on. I'm training you the way that I believe is the best. Not physical, mental. And when you can't do it here, you can't do it in there. And that's the name of the game for me. All right, just I'm going to ask you then, obviously, going off that, do you feel Ante Joshua has a skill set, has the adjustments needed to beat uh, Alexander Usyk? You know what? It's heavyweights. Takes one punch. Okay. Joshua could knock anybody out if he hits and connects him at the right time. But he's also got to learn to set it up. It's, it's about a boxing brain. I think Joshua can have a good boxing brain. And I think Joshua can be it. And I think being in the ring with him before, he should know it. He should know what he did wrong. And he's got to be able to work with his new trainer to say, this is what we have to do. He's got to not just be a yes man. He's got to know the plan and the strategy because it's also a massive change working with somebody else that doesn't know him to, to, to adjust him to say, this is what you have to do. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, this is what I'm trying to say. It's always a high risk. How is this guy going to be right? Because does he know him? How does he know him from here? Do you know what I mean? He's not connected with him here. And this is what I'm trying to say. On this big level, it's all about this. And it's not real. You've got to forget about that. Yeah? And do it from this and this.